The Jamaican Education Ministry says it's all system go for the implementation of the Alternative Pathways to Secondary Education, APSE, in September 2016. Speaking recently, Deputy Chief Education Officer Lena Buckle-Scott outlined the new National Standard Curriculum, NSC, for students entering secondary school. The program will put students on three pathways. When the students exit at grade six, the exam will lead them into these three pathways. Pathway one, we say, are for those students who can access the secondary curriculum with little support. Pathway two would be for these, these students who would need some support, some degree of support. Pathway three are those students who would need a lot of support for them to adequately access the secondary curriculum. Chief Education Officer Dr. Grace McLean says the APSE will assure learning integration from the primary to the post-secondary level. Now the alternative pathway for secondary level education will see a full alignment of the education system from the primary level, which has the national assessment program, being aligned to secondary, which is the alternative pathway for secondary level education, as well as the assessments that will accompany this approach. And following this, we will have the career advancement program, which will now provide for our students two additional years for them to be able to develop develop the competencies and skills that they perhaps would not have attained at the end of grade 11. It should be noted that the two additional years of schooling will only be applicable for those, to those students who need this additional support. So there will be some of our students who would not have past any of their subjects, whether it is in City and Gill, CVQ, NVQ, or CSEC, or there may be some of our students who would have attained two subjects or three subjects or one subject and would need this additional support. So the career advancement program, which is considered to, uh, which is really for those students who need the additional support, will be expanded in September 2016.